Hey everybody, Smooth Red here, and we're going to do Realistic Mission 5. So, we've got Spiffomatic 64, uh, he's a bit of a hacker himself, but um, he hacked it once and deleted their phone numbers, but they put the, put the database back on, now there's an encrypted password. Message Digest, alright. They have done some research and think we've got so called hash value. I think you could look some. I think you could somehow reverse engineer the brute force it. Well, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, well. Anyway, go to the site. We've got the Compute Global Hyper Meganet, or in other words, Simpsons. Um, they have contact us. Add your name is more spam. And remove your name, same. Alright. So, uh, we can do this in two ways. Uh, the first is if you go to news, there it will say I've taken extra precautions to uh, make sure that Google cannot see it. That's always located in a robots.txt. Or you can go to database and you'll see a secret admin so both can both work just fine so let me show you here it will say you cannot go into lib and you cannot go into secret well we'll go into lib first which will have a hash which we'll be downloading Let me start up the file manager. Mm, don't have a shortcut for that there. I already had one, I've got. So this is hash. Uh, and now we'll go to secret. And there's the admin.php page, but there's also a backup. And we'll go to the backup one. And we'll get a nice hash here. So that's pretty cool. So now we need to do this in the password list. Oh, that's not correct. No, I know. I need to go there. And it will say invalid password. So go back to database we have a hash value um, I'm going to start up a terminal and I'll say genie uh, hash.txt this is our hash value Add a line, that's not what I want. So, ah, damn it, damn you people. All right, annoying. Um, but now we need something to crack that hash with, and that's where Hashcat comes in. Uh, you can download it uh, on. If you go to hashcat.net slash hashcat, because there are different um, hashcat downloads, you can also have the GUI, uh, and it will look like this. But we'll just do the um, see. This is the Linux version. You can do some hash files. But we don't need that. So download it, extract it. I'll go there. Alright, so I have and I'll open up a new terminal. 
so I can build the um, I can build the command easier uh, 64 and uh, let's see what do we need well we don't need that we don't need that threats now uh, attack mode uh, attack mode brute force so oh. attack mode equals three the hash value well actually we don't know the hash yet and I'm saying yet because if we go into what we uh, see there this is the downloaded hash file if we up, uh, show its output this will be of course a lot of gibberish but if you scroll up a bit it will say here there MD4 time MD4 test let's see do we have something else that will say MD4 I think somewhere in here in, there will be block MD4 driver MD4 so we know it's an MD4 hash by that so we looked into the file and saw that there was an MD4 hash and MD4 is 900 so we'll do hash mode equals 900 then we'll do brute force password minimum so we'll do a bf password min equals 1 and bf pw max equals well 6 for now and the character set cs brute force character set will be maybe um, all the lower characters the same but then in uppercase and of course some numbers um, and that's it actually so if we run this oh yeah of course we need to specify the hash file which was um, no one of was that uh, yes so alright uh, hashcat has run with the full character set and it has uncovered that this is the password so let's take it and paste it and submit it and we've done so that's it so we've completed realistic mission five oh yeah